Hey, my name is Ernest from City College of New York. This is Flushing and this is my hometown. Kanji uh, for breakfast and like Gansao uh, Hall for dinner. Gansao Hall, which is uh, translation, would be like um, fried beef noodles. And um, we love them very much. Um, they are tasty, they are cheap, and they are just lovely. So um, this is uh, Print Center. Um, I took my ESL classes here. Um, I had uh, speaking, writing, listening and uh, reading classes here. Uh, when I first got here, they put me into the most advanced classes. I learned a lot from the professors and my classmates. They were great. Um, but uh, outside class, um, what I learned English from is uh, from the TV shows and also talking with friends. They're, they're, they're another way to learn the language. They built this mall because uh, there's a luxury apartment around and then this mall is developed by the same developer. Um, so there's been a lot of growth around Flushing, around this area. They're trying to modernize the area. Um, and this is a very modern mall. Um, they have everything. This mall is like five story. Um, and uh, they have electronics, they have clothing, and they have some foods around here too. Um, so they have a variety of things, so I come here all the time for like lots of stuff. My family moved here um, like a while ago when Hong Kong returned to China. And um, since then they've been living here, but uh, we moved back for a while in Hong Kong until I failed high school and I came here for college. So recently, you know like um, there's two airports around Flushing. I went in Queens. One is LaGuardia and then the other one is JFK. So I, I believe like the one in LaGuardia, their plane flight has rerouted to fly over Flushing and um, the neighbor has been complaining because um, the plane flies over like every 15-20 minutes and it's kind of annoying noise pollution so the neighbors are angry got this tree for Flushing um, it used to be a strong um, Korean based community but um, over time more Chinese came in and uh, right now we have a lot of Chinese and mixed with Korean and uh, Flushing became, became the second Chinatown in uh, NYC my parents moved to Flushing because Flushing is one of um, I mean there's not too much Chinatown on the East Coast there is one in Boston and Philly and in Flushing, Flushing is part of NYC and everyone loves New York City so at first I don't like this place I don't like Flushing like compared to Hong Kong because Hong Kong is more like tidy and when I came here I saw like people speeding on the street and like littering I was like damn why are you doing that so it's kind of awkward to me at first but got used to it I've been in Flushing for the past 5 years 6 years maybe so Flushing is kind of like a familiar place for me. It's 
my first to go if you're going for Asian food and some Asian style goods like a, like a Hello Kitty or stuff. Yeah. And also drinks too, bubble tea. So in Flushing, the demographic um, it used to be has a lot of uh, Mandarin people. They're usually from uh, Taiwan. Um, and then after that, it's from Fujian. But uh, recently, more people from uh, Guangzhou and Hong Kong came here. So, because um, I hear a lot of people speaking Cantonese, and my uh, first language is Cantonese too. So I was like, wow, from the same place. And then. It feels interesting to see people like around finally speak your home language. 